A Big Moon Cake for Little Star by Grace Lynn. Little Star's mama laid the big moon cake onto the night sky to cool. Now, Little Star, mama said, your moon cake took us a long time to bake, so let's see if you can make it last a while. Can you remember not to touch the big moon cake until I tell you to? Yes, mama, Little Star said, nodding. And Little Star remembered as she brushed her teeth, washed her face, snuggled into bed, and fell asleep. But in the middle of the night, Little Star woke up. She forgot everything her mama had said and remembered only the big moon cake. Pat, 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 pat. Little Star's feet tiptoed to the big moon cake. Would her mama notice if she took a tiny nibble? Little Star didn't think so. Mmm, yum. But was someone coming? Little Star flew back to bed. The next night, Little Star remembered the big moon cake again. That one bite had been so sweet and tasty. Was the cake still there? Yes, it was. That was the big moon cake, an almost perfect circle, all alone and delicious in the night sky. Would her mama notice if she took another tiny nibble? Little Star didn't think so. Yum, Little Star flew back to bed. And the next night, what do you think Little Star remembered? The big moon cake, of course. Would Mama notice if she took another tiny nibble? Little Star didn't think so. And the night after that, what did Little Star do? Nibble, nibble, yum. Night after night, Little Star took tiny nibble after tiny nibble of the big moon cake till there was almost nothing left. Until one night, Little Star's mama went to look for the big moon cake. Where was it? It was gone. Instead of glowing round cake, there was just a trail of twinkling crumbs. Little Star, her mama said, shaking her head even though her mouth was curving. You ate the big moon cake again, didn't you? Little Star looked up, her grin reflecting her mama's smile. Yes, mama, Little Star said, nodding. Now let's go make another one. And they did. The end.